Testing is an important part of development, and WebStorm makes this fun and productive by bringing test writing and running into the IDE. Let's see how to get started with testing in WebStorm. This project has one file of code and one file for tests. Earlier in the running section and debugging section, we showed executing a file with a context menu. Let's do the same and run this test code under this project's test runner, Jest. As with running and debugging, we get a custom tool window for the output, showing one test passed and one test failed with information about the expected versus received. As before, the IDE created a temporary run configuration. Since this project uses Jest, it's a Jest configuration type. Other test runners, such as Karma and Mocha, are supported. The test tool window has lots of useful features. For example, you can rerun all or only failed tests and import or export test results. It's easy to jump to a test even if the tab isn't open. You don't have to have the test tool window open to see test information. Failures are reported inline, both in the gutter and by hovering, which gives a pop-up explaining why the test failed. From this pop-up, we can run this failed test under the debugger to see what's wrong. A breakpoint will be added to stop execution on that line. You can look at the values in scope and all the other debugging features, then fix the problem. Now that we fixed the test, let's rerun it, but slightly different this time. See the icon on the left of the test in the editor? This icon not only shows you the test status for the tests you've run recently, but also lets you quickly run that one test in various ways. This time, our tests have successfully passed. Let's take a look at another handy tool which is available for some testing technologies. If I click on the shield icon, for example in the toolbar, I can quickly build a code coverage report for this test. The coverage tool watches which lines of my code get executed by all the tests, then flags lines which weren't executed. This report shows how many files were covered with tests, including the percentage of lines that were covered in those files. This information is also shown in the project tool window, as well as color coding in the gutter of the file that indicates coverage. That's it for the key concepts about testing in WebStorm. For more information about testing apps with Jest and other technologies, check out our documentation page on this topic. We also have some testing tips and tricks in the WebStorm guide at jetbrains.com webstorm guide topic testing.